and recording. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So I'm going to just try to record and upload this video. So I think I'm going to start with my brows today. Oh, before starting, let me just prep my face really quick. I do prep my face because my face is beyond oily. So for my primer, my T zone section, I use the Becca. That's the Ever Matte Poreless. And I do always, even if I don't um do makeup on myself, I always like to add a little bit of eye primer. Cause my hoodie eyes, uh, they get greasy and then it goes into my eyes. Okay, so I'd like to put a little bit of primer. Just making sure um, it's all water-based. If someone comes into my room like always, don't mind. Okay, so I think it's there. Let me add a couple of drops of my airbrush DVD and you can find them on Instagram. So I'm gonna add just three drops. I've been breaking out. Not because of the makeup, this quarantine has me eating all these pimples. So I'm just gonna spray through, ready to go. So I think I'm gonna start with my brows first. So I have one minute into this video. Let me just work fast. So I'm gonna do one, two, three drops of underground. Let's do my brows first. So whatever I do to one brow, I do to the other. Today I decided to do natural lighting, although it's a little cloudy out there. So a tip when you guys do your brows is try not to go in with the color if it's possible try going like two times over with the color that way you'll get dimension and it's just not like if it was tattoo you get what I mean so I like to go two times or you know a couple of times so as you guys see I pass it and then I build up the color so you're not seeing me spray just one time I do it a couple of times And I do my brows in three parts. This is the third part here. You know, guys, I see myself doing airbrush makeup when cuando llegue viejita. Imagine 60 years old and doing this. I see myself doing this for the rest of my life. So now I'm just going to kind of go over my brows. What do you guys think? I think I did good. Let me see. Now since I removed my mirror, it's right here on the side so I can get better lighting. And I'm just going to fill in right here a little bit. I think I did good. I'm going to stop right there. Blink wise, good. I'm going to stop there. So I am going to clean my airbrush clean. My airbrush with the cleaner. Just add a couple of drops back bubble and spray away. Well, I actually didn't clean the tip, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to remove the tip. I usually like to clean my tip every time I do my makeup on the needle. Put back of that little cap. Put two drops, back bubble, and clean. Again, because it was a dark color, and I'm going to go in with the light shade. So I'm going to go in with yellow. 
and you guys have to trust me on this okay and to the very end first you're like okay what the hell is she doing and at the very end you're like oh like colors come together and this two three drops this is water based so colors do mix in okay so this is yellow from the fantasy line and it, it is a matte shade so you have to be very careful not adding too much otherwise it cracks and you could feel it on your skin so I'm gonna add a little not too much and I have hoodie eyes so I like to go a little bit above okay there goes one eye I take longer on this side just because I am a little bit blinder with this eye. So I like to open and kind of see what I'm doing. By the way, today I didn't add my steps. I'm so into this video. I'll add it right now. Nada pasa, nothing happens. Let me just clean it back bubble. I'm gonna use my vanilla to do my brow bone color. Whoopsie. I'm gonna add two drops. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my brow bone color. I think I'm just gonna do the vanilla. I'm not gonna do going with the one, two, three steps. Or should I? Let me go in with um, golden olive. A little bit above my transitional color. I'm just going to add two drops of this. Just going to ever so carefully go in the yellow and the brow bone color I just added. You can hardly see it, but I mean, I can see it in person. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to skip the third step. Okay. So I'm going to stop there. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and add just a couple of drops back bubble and spray out. I actually like to use a cotton swab to, you have to pull back and clean the tip. Okay, so I think it's ready. So for my second color, since that is a matte color, I'm gonna go in with the opalescent line. It's like a shimmer or metallic. Just because matte colors do crack. So you have to add a little bit of um, a shimmer or a metallic, which is the opalescent for me. That's how I describe these colors. So with these, they have three lines, glamour, shimmer, and opalescent. Shimmer just means for me more glitter into it. That's how I describe them. Glamour, matte, and then um, Opalescent, I describe them as a metallic color, really nice. I love the opalescent line. And if you guys want to see where I purchase all my stuff, uh, you guys can check out my um, description box below. So you guys see? Oh, and by the way, the color that I just laid over that, that was the 24 karat. Kind of pulling back a little bit okay and if you guys are not subscribed please subscribe to my channel it is free for you guys the next color I'm gonna be grabbing is apple teeny okay. and I'm gonna add that right towards the outer V and I'm gonna stop right in the middle. I'm gonna start with my outer V. And then stopping in the middle. Okay. I'm drawing. So I don't know if you guys know, but I do record off of my iPhone. What does that mean? That if I do a video, when I um, edit 
through iMovies. It only lets me upload to YouTube a minimum of 15 minutes. So once in a while, I'll do just sit down, record without editing, and then I'll just upload it. And it's a little challenging because I do do tongue twists like once in a while because I'm like thinking so much. Okay, so bear with me here, guys. I'm just going to check if... to check if they're even I think they're even just gonna add a little bit here so I'm gonna stop right there my next shade I'm gonna be using blue so I'm not even cleaning it I'm just going in with the blue I'm gonna add two drops and then use I'm using my stencil so I won't have a lot of cleanup later on Adding right in the outer V. Without killing that green. Okay. I'm stopping to know where I am. Dragging it in little by little. Little by little. It's better to stop and then just kind of check if you need more. Than then just hitting more and then what can you do? How do I go back, right? Okay, so I'm just getting a little bit more here. I'm gonna stop there. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it. Back bubble, spray out. I'm gonna go ahead and use Aloha, which is a orange. Metallic color. So spray. And I'm just kind of gonna hit right in my inner corner on top of just right here, this right area right here. So I'm not gonna go too crazy, just a little bit. I mean, you can hardly tell, but I see it. It's just ever so lightly. can see it just right here ever so lightly with that color okay, I'm gonna stop there so next I'm gonna go in with a red color and this is sangria almost like a red I'll go ahead and add three drops And I'm going to do a cut. So I like to take my time because I have pretty eyes. So I think I'm going to go in right, uh, right there. So I'm going to build up the color little by little. So I'm going to stop right there and then go to the other eye. So let me see. Mm. Perfect. Okay, so I did my little line, but I'm going to still build it up. Okay. 
If you're wondering where is my baby, he is outside with his brothers, brother and sister, and dad. So I did my cut there. Now I'm gonna start going like spraying so you can see the color more and more, but not too close. I'm just gonna spray a little further back. You see. Same thing. With airbrush, that's the trick. Just spring further and further and little by little to build the color. Sorry if this video is a little bit too long. I have 16 minutes already, but I want to show you guys the concept of how airbrush makeup works. So as you guys see, I'm going back and forth. At first I was spraying the stencil, and then I'm spraying, like I was spraying my stencil, and then I'm just right now spraying towards my lid. Let me see if I'm gonna go in, stop, what do I do? Let me close my eyes. What do you guys think so far? Okay, so now, let me see. Let me add a little bit more here. Okay. So now, I don't have, I do have purple, but I don't like that purple that I have. So what I'm gonna do is whatever's here, I'm gonna add, let's see, I'm gonna add three more drops. One, two, three. And I'm going to go in with one drop of blue to create purple. So one drop of blue. And I'm going to kind of mix in to see if I have the proper blue. Purple, I mean. Let me see. Let me spray. Let me add another drop of blue. I think I'm gonna, I think I have my purple. Let me see. So I'm custom curating a color here. Let me see, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and spray just in the outer V. You guys see how that purple's coming? Little by little. So I'm spraying here. And then kind of blending in this line. Come on, purple. I sprayed the stencil so you guys can see that, that purple right there. Okay. Blending in. And then I'm going to go back and ever so slightly hit the red.
just very slightly. So you guys see the difference? Ever so lightly. It turns into like a Skittle red purple color look. It's just ever so lightly. I was trying to record this video for you guys. It was a mission impossible. My baby, uh-uh. So I was like, you know what? Let me just sit down and recreate this look for you guys. I'm just gonna mix in together these colors. What do you guys think? And then I'm gonna go over on the bottom of my eye. Not too much, just a little bit because I like to go with black anyways. And all it's going into my eyes is air, so I'm not getting the color in, it's just the air that I feel. Once you not dominate this, it's a life changer. So I think I'm gonna stop there. I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm gonna stop there. Let me just see before I, let me see. Let me look from a different angle. Let me see, hold on. So this is when I'm doing an actual video. This is the parts I cut off to see that I'm doing doing it the proper way. And of course, the unedited version, you see everything that goes behind the scenes. <laughs> I'm going to stop there. So next, I'm going to go ahead and clean my airbrush really quick just add a couple of drops get a q-tip swirl around and spray out i'm gonna repeat that two steps two times i mean do you guys hear my baby screaming <laughs> okay i'm gonna go ahead and clean that good so next i'm gonna do my eyeliner and i'm gonna be using jet black I forgot to put my phone on uh, airplane mode. Hope nobody calls me. So I'm gonna ha go ahead and hurry up. So I'm gonna add three drops of that jet black black. What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my top liner. So I like to do mine in three steps. One. And two and I always clean it before putting it back into my eye so that's three flipping it over one Two and three, and then I like to go back to see if I need to add. Yeah, I need to add more. I always try my best to do the eyeliner thin if I need to fix here and there, I add more and more. So next, I'm going to mimic a wing eyeliner, just flipping my stencils and hitting my stencil. Let's see. 
I'm gonna hit my stencil and floor out. Connect. Do the same thing. do one little trick here i'm gonna go ahead let me see if i connected it good yeah i think i did go ahead and grab you know what i'm gonna actually add on the bottom of my lash line for anything Q-tip, add a little bit of my airbrush cleaner, and clean away. I've been doing this for years when I have little fallouts and nothing happens. Completely safe to use like this. And clean away. Yeah. Okay. Can I Flip it over and do the same thing. Okay, you see the clean that I did? For those people that are watching this whole video from start to ending, thank you so much. And as you guys can see, every time you guys comment, I do re um, reply. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Move right here, baby. Has anybody here done this same look on traditional makeup? Let me know and let me know how long does it take you from start to finish. Because that's one thing I've never did when um, I used to do traditional makeup. So I think I'm going to stop there. Let me see. I think I'm going to stop there. Okay. I'm going to stop there. And then let me put my lashes on. Where is my lash glue? I had everything in place. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I think I'll be done in five more minutes, I think. Yeah, five more minutes. So hang in there with me. I know this minute is this minute. This video is 28 videos. Videos. 20 more minutes longer. What am I saying? Why am I tongue twisting? Think, think. So I got these lashes on Amazon. And these are the lashes that um, I use when I do super glam makeups. I don't do these on a regular basis because they're a little bit too long and you know, mama needs to wear glasses. And just hold in place. So I think it's been almost a year to half a year that I no, no longer use tweezers. I had a little deja vu that I poked my eye and then I got blind. And then I was just like, why, why? I knew I should have used my hands because I was going to poke myself. So I'm just using my fingers. From now on, ever since I saw that little deja vu of me poking my eyes with the tweezers. 
So I had to learn the good way or the bad way. What do you guys think? Ahí va, ahí va quedando Luke. I think lashes are the most important thing of when you're doing this kind of look. It like pl places everything in set. Okay. And as always, I like to go back in with the black just to seal my lashes. And what I mean by sealing is they look more natural because I am spraying over the same eyeliner so they look ever so lightly natural on the eye okay okay so they're a little bit too curvy but i will work with them right now okay okay now i'm gonna go back in with that black and seal. Let me show you guys. So you guys see the glue? And now you guys don't. There you go. So I sealed those lashes. So I'm going to spray away that black, and since I was using black, let me clean it really good. Just going back over with my airbrush cleaner two to three times, because I am going with my foundation color. What happens if I don't get clean it properly? When I apply my makeup, it goes gray. You'll literally see gray foundation. Spraying. I think it's good. So I'm going to go in with my foundation. I'm going to use um, the neutralizer, golden olive, and vanilla. So I'm going to add, um, I'm gonna go in with uh, vanilla. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then four or five drops. One, two, three, four, five drops of golden olive. And if you guys like full coverage, all you have to do is just add more liquid into it. I like my foundation to be, this is my face without makeup foundation to be light to medium coverage not full coverage and when you guys are doing full coverage um, my tip is just spray and move around fast towards your your skin don't stop in one section otherwise it'll crack like you'll feel it like just tighten your skin tighten just gonna go underneath I feel a little pelito here. No, it's me. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cover my makeup. I don't know about you guys, but for me, sometimes it's hard to do my makeup and talk at the same time. My big forehead. Actually, I'll do freehand. Why am I singing that song? <laughs> and sometimes. I do wear glasses, so I don't worry too much in between here. Spraying my nose. You guys see? So this is with foundation. Okay. I'm going to go in. Since I have too much going in my eyes, I'm going to go in with a light contour. I'm going to be using Nut Mink. I don't want too much in my eye, to my face, I mean. One, two, three, I'm gonna add four drops. You know, 
I'm going to do too much of contour. I don't want to look like a payasa, like a clown. contour my nose because it's already shaped up okay and then for blush what should I go in with blush you know what I'm gonna do my usual I'm gonna grab my my favorite of all time dark peach pink too much because I have a lot going on my eyes so again for my highlight I think I'm gonna go with my favorite of all time rose gold so for the colors that I do tend to use very so often I buy them in big bottles if I know I'm not gonna use them so often I buy small bottles so big small I think the big ones are 1.15 ounce and the small ones are 0.25 ounce And then I'm gonna go in with my rose gold. So thank you guys so much for those of you stayed and watched this video from start to finish. Thank you, gracias. Rose gold, one, two. I se fue un poquito más. Okay, so this is what rose gold looks like. sort of blend in and on my cupid's bow a little bit on my lips I think I'm not gonna add no gloss I'm gonna use our rose gold on my lips there I think I'm done let me before I forget because then I start yapping and then I forget to clean my airbrush and oh once it's dry it's a little pain in the butt to clean so let me just do it right now there no brushes no nothing so let me see people did ask what happens if I get it on my hair I just get a little tissue and I clean away there you go guys so this is my final look my eyes and my face there you go guys i hope you guys loved it as much as i did don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time Ooh, me encantó i really 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 loved it let me show you guys resumirles you guys saw you guys saw that i did not have that purple you can't see it too much here but in person you do all i did was mix red and um blue another thing that helps is this this really helps say if i forget how to do the purple well then i try to find how you create purple which was blue and red and you get this purple it's not picking up in camera but that's how sometimes i see how colors are going to be mixed in but yeah guys oh i loved it so much anyways guys i took 40 minutes i'm so sorry this video was so long but i have an iphone and i am not able to switch this video to imovies edit it i will have to scrunch so much to 15 minutes because imovies only lets me upload for 15 minutes onto youtube and if i just record this up to youtube it it lets me it lets me upload very perfectly fine but other than that guys thank you guys so much for watching bye now and off <laughs>